Oh, guys. How are we doing again? You had a good new meet. Alright. Alright, um... Good warm-ups, good practice from the guys. Um, I spoke to them about the Kansas City game, as you all know. Um, we're going to have our injury report probably tomorrow. If not, then definitely Friday. Uh, this game will be in Chicago, and um, that's um, kind of somewhat unfortunate for us. But um, last time we played Chicago, we pretty sure we won, but that's... That was then, this is 2018, but um, just like Bill said, you know, this is a totally different team now. You know, the coaching's different, defense different, offense different, uh, they got new players, kicking game is great, punting game is great, so all three aspects of the game are really, uh, really uh, consistent for this team, so we got a tough game, another tough game on Sunday, and it's an away game, so that's... Uh, Maybe even just as tough as last week, or even probably even tougher. Now, some people say, "Ah, oh, well, Miami, Miami beat Chicago, so what the hell?" Well, good for them, okay. But the, we're not the Dolphins, jackass, okay. We're the New England Patriots. We're not the freaking Miami Dolphins in Sea World. Anyway, um, I'll take some of your questions regarding uh, Sunday. So, whenever you, whenever you guys are ready, I'll answer your questions. Yeah. Uh, Coach, um, how does Mitchell Trubisky uh, really, kind of like a duplicate of Mahomes, really able to, you know, get out of the pocket and be mobile? And uh, some might even argue that he's even probably even faster than than Mahomes. And uh, how does he really affect uh, the defense, some of the defenses that he goes up against? Yeah, Pat, or not Patrick, uh, Mitchell. Um, Mitchell's a pretty damn fast quarterback, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, good arm. Uh, he can get out of the pocket. He can extend plays with his feet. Um, decent arm. Uh, he's got good receivers. He's got Allen with him. He's got Taylor. He's got Zach. Well, you know if Zach's playing? Someone let me know by the end of this interview. Not by the end of this interview, but uh, by the end of the day. If, if Zach is playing the tight end, anyway, um, yeah, he's got good receivers, he's got Taylor, he was on the Falcons during the Super Bowl, um, he's got Allen, he's got a couple other guys with him, and so uh, he can, I mean, even so, he can still extend plays with his feet, so he's like, very similar to Mahomes as far as the mobility is concerned. <laughs> Next question. on the Chicago side, you have, of course, you have, um, you have Tariq Cohen, and then, if, of course, you have Jordan Howard, and those those two really being, one of them being a, a, a power back, and the other one being a, really a pure speed back, and Tariq is only like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, so how do those two really spread the offense out as far as strategy is uh, concerned? I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on back there. Somehow, I don't know what the hell happened, but, um, uh, so Tariq Cohen and Jordan Howard, yeah, Jordan's a good power back, Tariq's a speed back, so, I mean, if you're, if you're not going to Jordan, we might be going to Tariq, um, or if it's a screen, it might be similar to what we do, we might hand it off to Sony one day, and then the next play we might hand it off to James White, or we might throw it to him on a screen, so we gotta watch out for that, too, so, yeah, Tariq's a pretty good runner. Jordan's a good runner too, so we got two good running backs. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be a good challenge for us for our defensive line being able to stuff the run. So the only thing they have on us offensively is rushing yardage, so that'll be a challenge for us. Coach uh, Allen Robinson, you know we obviously know he's a great player. Um, y'all, y'all looking trying to double team him? Well, we'll see what happens with Allen. Uh, he was good when he was on the uh, Jaguars. Uh, that was around, I think, 2015, 14, maybe 16 when he was with uh, Hearns. But, um, yeah, Allen Robinson's a good player. He's definitely a better player than Hearns, but um, uh, <clears throat> he is. Um, he's got good height, 6'3", around 2... I want to say like 210, 250, or not 250, what the hell, 
220, 210, maybe 215, I don't know, but he's got good size, good height, um, probably gonna put Stefan on him, uh, and then we'll put Jason on Taylor, since he could probably keep up with Taylor, um, anyway, um, yeah, so Allen, good height, good size, good hands, great receiver, he can catch it over the top, um, he's a good receiver, he's a good receiver. looks like. I know, John, I know what he looks like, okay? I just don't know if he's going to be playing. I don't know. But I know who you're talking about. Asshole. Next question. Hey, coach, uh, how, does, uh, how does defense out there uh, really, really screw everyone up? Really, how does defense really affect uh, the offenses that they go up against? Yeah, they're a good defensive team. I mean, they got a good defensive line. They got Akeem, and then of course they got Danny uh, for the linebacker. They got um, the other guy from um, I think Georgia, Raquan Smith, first round pick. Uh, he's in there unless something happened to him. I don't know, but I know they I know the Bears drafted him. And then of course for the secondary they got Eddie Jackson, great safety. Um, they got Adrian Amos, obviously another great safety. They got um, you know uh, Kyle and. Uh, and Prince, those two guys, you know, good corners. And Prince is looking for a, a you know, a ten pick season, which I doubt. But um, yeah, they got a really good team, good complete team, good consistent, tough, complete team on defense. Um, so that'll be a really uh, tough, tough thing for us. It's like another. It's like playing KC with a much better defense. That's what it is. So yeah. Tough game, really tough game. Um, Coach, I'm knowing that the Dolphins were able to uh, top off the uh, Bears, not by much, but um, they were still able to beat um, Chicago. So does that raise anything for you as far as possibly the difficulty of this game? or No. Um, like I said earlier, we're not Miami. All right, we're not we're not in Sea World. Um, this is an SNL, and um, this ain't Sea World. This is real as it gets. Okay, um, we are the Patriots. We've we've beaten Chicago before. Okay, whether if it was before now, or well, I'm not gonna you know jinx anything, but you know maybe we maybe we won't win. I don't know, but um, to be honest with you, I won't be surprised if we lose. But. Um, uh, I think the Patriots, I think we can do this. I think we can do this. I think. I think we can do this. I mean, it's not certain. Um, I'm probably about 60% certain, maybe, that we can do this. Three-fifths, three out of five, maybe two out of three, maybe. Um, yeah, so um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. 32, yeah, we'll, we'll see. 32 teams in this league, and almost all of them are great, except for one of them. Uh, Coach, I'm knowing that this game will be in Chicago, and um, that's uh, one of the first away games for you, if not the first. But um, I think it's actually the second, because the Jacksonville game was in Jacksonville. Uh, but, um, um, does, do you think that home field advantage for the other team kind of makes it harder for you guys, or do you think it's just a, a, a thing of how the players play and how they deal with it mentally and physically? Um, I think it's I think it's really, really just a, a mental thing. Uh, it's all in your head. Um, what if these guys want to play hard or not? That's their decision, okay? That's, that's their decision. Um, we are 48 and 0 against quarterbacks 23 and 20, I think 25 and younger. Okay, 48 and 0 against teams that are 25 and younger. Okay. However, this is a new team. Kavish. Okay. Next question. No, it has nothing to do with 
the advantage, okay? We've played in away games and we've lost. We've played away games and we've won. Um, Coach, um, obviously, of course, we have um, Akeem, Akeem Hicks, uh, who used to be um, on the Patriots. And yeah. Are you familiar with his uh, play calling or his um, play style at all as a defensive end? Because he's, he's a fairly, he's a pretty big defensive end, and he's really strong. So, I mean, I was just wondering if you knew anything about him still, because he, he was a former Patriot. Yeah, Akeem is about uh, the same size as maybe ten African elephants. Um... Yeah, he's a, uh, he's a pretty freaking big, uh, big-ass defensive end, and, um, not big like tall big, like big like fat big, like Vince, we all remember Vince, right? Um, yeah, he can bull rush the hell out of you, you know, he can spin around you, he'll use his hands, He'll do whatever the hell he needs to do to get around you. So, he's a good defensive end. And, um, I don't know if he's playing. I don't. I haven't seen the injury report. But, yeah, just overall, just a little, my thoughts on Hicks. Yeah, he's a, he's a good defensive end. <sighs> well, gotcha. And then, of course, we have Danny Trevathan, uh, the big mm -hmm. linebacker. And how do you hope to, uh, target him? Well, well, hopefully he won't, you know knock someone out like he did um, against Devontae Adams, but um, Danny's a really big, physical, good tackler of a linebacker, and um, we're going to need a lot of protection from him, because he will, he will, you know, beat us down, and he will put us down, so, Danny Trevathan, so... He's not on the Broncos. No, he's on the he's on the Bears. Okay, I, I thought he was on the Broncos for a second. He used to, he came to the Bears from the Broncos. Anyway. First last question. First last yeah. question has to do with the, uh, the, the the secondary because we got Kyle Fuller, uh, Kendall's brother, who, who was uh, on the Chiefs, who you guys had to deal with, and then of course we got uh, Prince Mukamara, who was on the Super Bowl winning Giants when you guys lost. Um, not to rub anything in or anything, but uh, how does how does those two corners really really screw up everything? And of course we got the second year player Eddie Jackson out of Alabama, and of course we know all the players out of Alabama uh, are usually all the good players. So, well, unless unless if you're Cyrus, right? Cyrus, he went to Alabama, right? And we all know how great Cyrus was as a corner. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Eddie's a, um, Eddie's a young talent, and, um, you know, he's a good, he's a good safety. Uh, Landon went to, uh, Alabama, Dante went to Alabama, Julio went to Alabama, um, what's the guy's name, Bo Scarborough and the Cowboys, I think who they cut, went to Alabama, and, um, of course we all know how great Cyrus was as a corner. But, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, you know, Eddie's a good safety, and, um, we'll, we'll, but we'll, we'll figure out how to counter this, okay? I mean, we got Josh McDaniels, great offensive coordinator, he knows, he knows everything, okay? Bill is like a wizard, he knows everything, so... But still, we got a really, really tough game come Sunday Sunday afternoon. It's a 1 o'clock game at Chicago, okay? So, hold on to your nips and your nuts for this upcoming game, all right? Hold on to your nips and your nuts for another thrill ride, all right? Thank you, guys. We're on to Chicago. Anyone got any update on Zach yet? I asked. I asked thoroughly if anyone had an update on Zach. No one's got anything on Zach? John, you got anything? <laughs>